Hey guys, welcome to a new food vlog. I am here in Ealing Broadway on the day of the opening of the first Amazon Fresh store here in the UK. Potentially the first one in Europe, I need to check that. Um, but yeah, the queue is massive, but I'm gonna take you on a little trip. We're gonna get a few bits and see what this is all about. As you can see, it's a pretty small store. Um, I believe it was a monsoon and accessorize, that's what they're saying online. Um, so I'm intrigued to see how much stuff they have, uh, no doubt competing with the local and kind of small city stores. But as you can see, this is Ealing Broadway. It's kind of a affluent, mild suburb, I would say. I didn't really plan on coming so soon, but I saw it on the news and I couldn't see any videos. They hadn't done any press or anything for it. So I thought I would uh, give it a go. So I'm in the queue. As you can see, the entrance is all the way up there, but it's okay, it's just a staggered queue. Um, should I just do a Poundland vlog while I'm here? <laughs> no, maybe another time. Now, something that I'm really keen to see is whether they use the smart carts here or if it's all gonna be, I think it is a bag and go um, situation, like they don't have the carts that they do in America, but we shall see. I mean, saying that I've been in the queue for all of about 40 seconds, but here you can see it asks you to log in to the app, tap on the icon basket within the Amazon Fresh section and get the QR code. So we're going to do that. We've got some sanitized stations, We've got some great branding here. And we are, as you can see, part in like a shopping centre. There's Itsu, as you saw, Poundland but everything at the moment is still a bit sharp. And I'm just covering up my details, I'm sure you can appreciate, but you just go into the regular part of the app and click the basket in the bottom there and it comes up with your code. So I'm guessing I use that to like swipe in um, and yeah, this is exciting. I'm really intrigued and as you can see, there's lots of people who are also wanting to experience it. It's, yeah, it's half 11, so I'll go ahead just before lunch and I just noticed at the sanitizing stations, they actually have got complimentary masks. If you don't have one so uh, yeah that's really good to see. I'm just going to talk to you briefly while I'm in the queue. Um, yeah I've literally been in the queue for a couple of minutes in fact so that's really good that it's moving. Oh we're moving forward again. Um, so yeah the US vlogs and videos or whatever I have found they have been at really big stores so I'm interested to see a really small scale one um, which I think is probably a really good idea for the UK because we have so many large stores and it's really price competitive. Um, if you've seen any of my other vlogs or know what I'm talking about I'll link my Aldi and uh, maybe like my Tesco one at the end and also in the description so check those out um yeah so it looks like you have a bag i didn't bring my own bags so i'll pay for one all and um, they're all in my boot i always forget my shopping bags and yeah and you just dump it in your bag and um you get billed as you leave it's crazy <laughs> i don't think i've ever been this excited to go food shopping i've got my little list i've got a few things um and if you're wondering this is like the little shopping center with the main road and yeah we're here so they've taken up unit 26 by the looks of things <laughs> Oh, we're nearly there. How exciting. So, in we go. Here we go. So, I just go. Here we go. Thank you so much. So, we've got bags. We've got paper ones which are complimentary. But I'm going to pay for one because I would quite like to have one of these Amazon bags. So, these are a pound this is so weird not scanning barcodes reading online everything yes, is the same price in here than online so i'm just gonna grab the bits that i would get if i was just normally shopping right first item is my bag i just picked up some strawberries so yeah all the pricing is the same as it is online uh we've got some sanitizing stations it is pretty busy in here um so i'm gonna try and be as quick as possible stay out of the way Right, what else did I need? Oh, a lemon that was on my list, 35p. Thank you very much. Look and feel of the store is, is like a regular store. It's kind of got a bit of a Whole Foods feel to it with the dark shelving and fixturing, but we've got loads of kind of grab and go food. Um, we've got this little ready meal section here, so I might grab something for my dinner. I want to show you as much as possible, but I don't want to get in anyone's way, but what have we got here? little takeaway style there, 10 pound night in. Oh, that's quite good. So you get a main side. I am a major pasta fan, so I'm gonna grab one of these because I literally have nothing left in my fridge. And I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, so I'm gonna go for this because they've got all the um, kind of like traffic light system on the side of it, like they do on all food in the UK. So I'm gonna add that to my basket for 3.40. So online, um, Amazon Prime actually, or Fresh even, sell quite a lot of Morrison products. Um, I'm not sure if it's a collaboration. I don't think they're co-owned, correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm interested to see if this is all 
Amazon branded or, you know, kind of supplier branded or if there's anything, even, we'll look out for some Cadbury, that's always a telltale. And they've got this little screen here with a rotation, like different promo and things they want to highlight. And something I noticed on that screen was Mindful Chef and they've got little um, kits for two, little meal kits here for £12 and £10. Oh, there's an £8 one as well, a pad tie for two, so I think those are quite interesting. And just as an example, um, everything in this store is probably more than what you're going to get uh, price-wise in somewhere like Tesco. So I have added these particular sausages to my basket and they're about £2 at the moment at Tesco. So uh, generally Amazon fresh food is a little bit more money because it doesn't hold um, really any promotions. As you can see, there's a few multi-buys but nothing that is uh, heavily promoted. And as I'm showing you, we've got um, a lot of ready meals. I think based on the location and the size of this store, it's um, going to be targeted towards people grabbing food for dinner, which for me is perfect. Apart from there's not two of me, so I feel like these are all a little bit big on the portion size, um, but just quickly show you some of the packaging. Ooh, two lamb shanks, that looks good. And just to show you, they've also got an Amazon hub pickup and return. I really want to film the guy, but that's interesting to see that you can uh, take your returns here and obviously, like it says, pick up your orders. Okay, it's a little bit more spacious now. There's a few people not buying stuff, but I've picked up a few items. Um, so intrigued to see what it would be like just leaving the store. But we've got a world food sections here. Uh, quite small, but good to see that they have got it. Uh, do you know what? I eat my words. They've got special offers here. What have we got? Um, ooh, cherry almond tart, two pack. There's no was and now pricing, which is really big here in the UK. For example, like was three pound, now two pound fifty. Um, but there's a lot of these night in meal deal things. So we've got five pound main and a side. That's really cheap. Okay, we're gonna get one of those. What should I get? A chicken thigh tray, beef meatballs. Oh, that's gonna be a treat. Pork meatballs and chorizo and a few other things. Hmm, let's go with, you know what? I haven't had meatballs in forever, so let's go with these. You're gonna pick one of these up. Then I get a side. Mm, what should I get? Oh, I really want chips, but let's try not to do that. Oh, actually, who even cares? Let's get uh, these French fries. The only thing is obviously you have to carry it around. There's no trolleys or anything. Um, I can get you in focus. So we do have some branded items. So this is a Mother's Day stand. And you see we've got dairy milk, lint, Maltesers, and all the rest. So yeah, it's not all um, non-branded. And just sticking to the food for a second, uh, we've then got the bakery, kind of fresh items here. I don't really need anything, but just to quickly show you. But yeah, like I say about the promos, you're not gonna get like two loaf of breads for a certain price, like you would in most supermarkets. Um, and it looks like this is probably their kind of like own brand pitch. It's quite expensive, it's quite a lot more um, than what you'd pay elsewhere. But yeah, very interesting shop indeed. If anyone's asking, they don't care at all that I'm filming, I did ask. I think it's just Aldi that are a bit funny about it. <laughs> okay, so the non-food section, there is a um, kind of lunch bit at the front, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got very, very essential stuff that you would find in somewhere like a Tesco Express. So I think it's a very good uh, comparison or like for like what they've done. And I did see in all of the American videos that they have a section for Amazon own electrical products. So interesting to see they've got this unit here uh, showing things like the Echo Dot and the Kindle um, and a little display. And as we go around, um, there is a section for beer, wine and spirits. Uh, this probably will be <laughs> the busiest bit, let's be honest. Um, we are Brits, we do like a drink. But we've got a decent amount in here and there's a guy just keeping an eye on things for security purposes. But yeah, pretty good. We've got a little frozen section here. Um, you don't tend to find very big frozen sections in small local stores. And then as we pan across, trying to get everything in the shop, we've got the dairy section, which runs most of the length of the store. So you've got yogurts, uh, fresh cakey bits, and milk and so on. We've got introductory offers on quite a lot of items. So I don't know, maybe these are um, exclusive to the stores. I don't know if anyone knows. Do comment below because I couldn't find really any information on this at all. But as I say, it's definitely got a bit of a Whole Foods feel to it um, with the fixtures and fittings. It feels a lot more premium than a Tesco or maybe, maybe just because it's new, I'm not sure. 
but yeah it feels American but in a really nice way and there are bag sections everywhere in the store so once you've filled your bag it's getting a bit heavy actually you can grab another one but we've got our dry good sections oh we love a biscuit maybe I should get some biscuits I gave up bread for Lent and honestly I just keep eating loads of sweets instead and then we've got a little section here for cereals um, pretty much what you would find um, in a small like Sainsbury's local but just to note we found some Morrison's products I mean I've probably walked past quite a few but interesting to see we've got a uh, yeah a competitor inside the store it's a bit of a weird dynamic but for those of you who aren't in the UK Morrison's is its own standalone shop but it doesn't have small stores so I'm trying to explain things from a UK perspective and then things that I've read about online um, but yeah this is a very strange experience but it's pretty cool oh and then we have got some Easter chocolates I am probably gonna grab a couple of bits because I'm finding um, these always go out of stock really quickly towards Easter so I'm gonna grab a bunny hmm maybe or maybe something else as well let's grab a chocolate bunny then we've got a bit more confectionery because we love sweets but we've got full-size packs of items and if you're in the UK you know that these are usually a pound so yeah some of the stuff is exactly what it would be in the competitors and then other stuff maybe not so much Pringles £1.12 introductory offer that is definitely much cheaper uh, than some places and that is a bargain so usually about two quid these days and a big part of the store is a food to go so probably for people who just want some lunchy bits um, and we've got a meal deal it says it's a meal deal let's see what it is we've got a main a snack and a drink for an extra pound um, how much is the actual meal deal not totally sure meal deals are a very very big thing here um, in the UK I'll try and find out how much it is we have got loads of sushi I did see on a lot of the US vlogs that sushi is a big part of their store so um, really good to see here because it's not really something you get that common in uh, supermarkets and if it is it's not very nice <laughs> and then you've got a hot coffee station here which smells absolutely amazing lattes hot chocolates double espresso you name it and again you just grab and go okay I think we're nearly done but here we go it just says choose what you like bag is a shot just walk out gosh I bet the receipt being emailed is a bit scary and then on the other side of the hot drink section we have got a fresh bakery section I'll just wait for a few people to walk away and show you a few of the treats because I know you like seeing the cakes and you know that I love a cake and then some more of the grab and go food pastas lots of different salads and uh, yes yeah, really lovely premium salads there at the bottom they look wonderful and then we've got some sandwiches we've got some kind of iffy looking ones very boring ones and then you've got kind of nicer or premium handmade ones there at the bottom some lovely baguettes there's not too many of those left yeah i'm not really sure how the meal deal works i'm guessing um whatever the prices of the item so the reason i see i seem confused is because in all supermarkets it'll say like right three pound whatever combo you get is three quid or it's 350 um so i find it a bit strange that they haven't done that but I would say overall their meal deal looks a lot more premium than what you'd get in say Sainsbury's so some of the treats we've got here oh um, is that Chelsea bun yum a chocolate banana pecan cake oh and they are a little bit more than usual but I don't know actually I think that's a fair price different cookies some muffins and some fresh bread oh cheese twist looks nice so I'm definitely gonna get some nice croissants over there I think I'm gonna grab a cookie Ah, and there's our hot section. Oh, I feel like I'm in prep. Uh, we've got some soups for three quid. Oh, a ham and cheddar croissant for 260. A couple of wraps and some, oh, even mac and cheese. Yeah, it definitely has got a prep feel to it and then all your little, um, little bits and bobs to go with it. And marketed towards Mother's Day, we've got some flowers here. Um, how much are they? 540. Oh, I think that's quite reasonable. And then we've got the big bouquets for uh, 9 to £13.50 they look really pretty as a last panning shop yeah there's a few people buying stuff there's, I think more people are intrigued by the idea of it um, yeah so if you're in the area I would definitely recommend to come I'll give you my thoughts once I've left because I definitely have got some opinions on the matter this is so strange because I was just saying to myself right okay let me just pay and then I'll talk to you outside I need to do that <laughs> 
very strange, very strange. Right, let's head on out. Did I show you this? We've got newspapers, and magazines, a little snacky bits, including grab and go fruit, but we're done. So I'm just gonna walk out with my bag. This is a bit scary because I have no idea how much I've spent, which was one of the benefits oh, when yes. I watched the US vlogs is you have the smart car um, to tell you a total. So I haven't got a foggiest, but let's head on out and see what I get emailed. And just like that, I have experienced the Amazon Fresh store here in the UK. Um, but I'm sure I moved the camera too far. If I, I'll do what I can with the editing. Um, but yeah, really interesting concept. I think everyone is a bit mesmerized by the idea of it and all walking around like this is the best thing since sliced bread. So um, yeah, really interesting. But I will see you in the car and I'll give you a few more of my thoughts. I queued probably for about five minutes. The queue looks massive, but it's really, really quick. But the press are here taking photos. Okay, so I've been stood here for a minute and I haven't been emailed my receipt yet, so I actually have no idea how much I've spent. Um, let's go in to Amazon again. Yeah, so I will let you know as I walk back to my car, but I haven't got a clue how much I just spent and it doesn't show up. So maybe it's just having, having a moment, maybe it's taking a second. <laughs> Wow, what an experience. Um, that was really, really enjoyable. Now I'm trying to like process my thoughts because um, obviously there was a lot of hype there because it's the opening day and I'm gonna edit this as quick as possible and get this up onto YouTube so you guys can see what has happened today. Um, but overall, I think it was a really positive experience. I think everything with the pandemic, they were really good with social distancing. Um, for a moment there, there were quite a lot of people in the store. I think people were just looking and yeah, just soaking up the, the concept. My initial excitement for this store was the actual smart carts, which obviously, as you saw, we don't have. Um, on reflection, obviously they wouldn't fit in the store. The store just isn't big enough. So I hope one day, maybe in the UK, we get a bigger store so we can kind of experience that. Um, but yeah, overall, it was really, really good. Um, they had everything that you would need. So I think it's extremely competitive with the likes of Tesco Express or like a Sainsbury's local. Um, and for me, someone who has lived so centrally in London for so long, the main gripe with grabbing food, as you saw, there's so many ready meals, grabbing something for dinner or a bottle of wine or something you've forgotten uh, to make your, your dinner is the queuing element. Um, queuing at somewhere like a Tesco Express is horrendous. It's absolutely awful. They try to um, be as quick as possible and they have a lot of self-service uh, tills, but that is the probably number one issue I have with popping in a store to get something. Often you're like, I can't be bothered. I can't deal with the drama. So this concept with Amazon Fresh I think is great because you can just be in your own bubble. It's obviously very antisocial. Um, one thing I thought they would have that I saw in the American videos um, was a uh, tablet to ask Alexa where something was. I guess because the store was quite small um, but I saw a lot of people would be like hey where's the mayonnaise or something and it'll tell you what aisle or where to look. Um, so yeah there was a lot of staff there today so if you needed help you could just ask. The only thing that you obviously need is an Amazon account which I think pretty much every Everyone has. I personally have never bought anything on Fresh before because I shop at Tesco. I pay a monthly fee for delivery. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think to summarize, um, if you're in the area, definitely go. I think it's a really fun idea. Um, I still haven't been emailed my receipt, so I'll check again in a second. So I'm a little bit like, have I been charged or what's going on? But I think overall in retail, this is something, this is groundbreaking. And I know that probably sounds so cheesy, but in retail, we haven't, customer facing, you don't see much of the innovation that's going on, not really uh, with supermarkets. They will have really smart warehouses and picking systems. Um, but I think to actually enjoy the innovation that companies are working on, obviously in this case Amazon, is really fun. Um, and the only thing that I can think that compares to it is when um, like self checkouts happened many, many years ago. And um, when you got like the scanning gun, whatever it's called, um, I remember when Waitrose started getting it and you went around with your trolley and you could scan your food as you went along into your own shopping bag. So this is a real big step um, in kind of consumer um, experience. And I do also want to address regardless of this vlog and what I have said and how I have edited it, people are going to be negative about um, the concept. People don't like Amazon. Some people love Amazon. Even as I was leaving the store, this guy was filming on his phone. Oh, Amazon is awful. Look at these saddos. 
da, 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 joining a cult and all this palaver. Um, I, I can't tell you how you feel. I can't tell you whether you should or shouldn't uh, like the idea or the concept. But for me personally, I think it's really interesting that a company is innovating um, huge, huge steps in um, customer retail and it being a physical store. Um, out of all the grocery stores, I can't really name one of them that's been particularly innovative, innovative even, um, apart from Ocado, which is online only. So for me, I think it's a really great idea. Yes, of course, not half as many people will be needed uh, in the stores to work, but it's just what's happening. Um, I don't think it's a negative thing. Uh, this whole world of AI does also generate jobs in other ways. So I'm not gonna get deep into it, but for me, I am pro for these. And my first job actually was uh, on the checkouts in Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's back in Spill, back in the day, for about three years when I was at school. So um, yeah, if a computer can do it or it can be self-sufficient by the customer, why not? I would say overall then, I am probably 95% positive towards the overall experience. Uh, they had the right product, it was easy. Um, I, for some reason, just thought there was gonna be an issue with the QR code going in, but it wasn't. Um, everyone was really friendly. I mean, obviously if this was normal, there wouldn't be as many uh, staff members there. Um, yeah, and I was quite happy with it. People probably will say as well that I made quite a few comments about the pricing. The reason being, here in the UK, um, grocery stores or food prices are extremely price sensitive and competitive that is one of the benefits of living in the UK our food is really really cheap but then our fuel prices are kind of expensive and yes if you've seen my Aldi vlog you'll know there's been a loads of chats about that in the comments so for us to pay the online premium price of prime in the store fresh in the store is a little bit mm, so it'll be interesting to see how often they do promotions um you know buy and get one free say 50p things like that so and how it's ticketed as well um so yeah in time i definitely will come back and see whether that has changed but you are essentially paying exactly the same prices online so um i guess a positive and a negative at the same time but if i bought like flight products in tesco express it most probably would be cheaper but hey that's just how it goes they can charge what they want can't they really yeah i just want to use a smart trolley where can i use a smart trolley come on amazon open a bigger store i think i have waffled on long enough now sat in my car i need to go home um oh hold on let's check have i been charged this is so strange um and yeah i still haven't been emailed um i've just checked my amex there's no pending charge so um yeah let's see if i get charged i'm sure i will but I don't know, it makes me a bit uneasy that I'm just like sat here and I don't know how much I paid for this. Yummy! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really good. I haven't had a cookie probably in about a year. Oh, I should have bought a drink. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so if you are new here, I don't always do supermarket vlogs, but I would love going out and seeing different retail um, in the UK. I live here in London, so if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. Um, there's going to be lots. I'm back vlogging, basically. I had a couple weeks off, um, but I'm probably going to go to Hyde Park in a few days' time. I promise you an M&S food vlog is coming. I just didn't have time to do it last week. We'll be back at Fortnum & Mason, we'll be back at Harrods, uh, back out, probably doing afternoon tea at some point and showing you all the sites in London. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. Don't be too negative, but you know, I want to hear your thoughts whether you think this is a good idea or not. Um, do you have one in America or whatever country you're in? I'm going to Google that, but I can't seem to find a list of where all of these stores are. Um, but yeah, either way, stay safe, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.